Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Tawny makeover. Welcome back to another video where I'm absolutely struggling with the intro. I think it's because I don't record as often as I used to and I'm out of practice, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, today I am making over our darling, darling Welsh. You know, darling like they're a darling and their name is darling capital d i'm saying darling way too much and my, my obviously my mind is drifting somewhere else if you know you know so let me pull this together i'm not going to delete this and start recording the intro again we we are just going with this but uh, yeah Darren Welsh, the last of the karaoke legends. Yeah, I think that's what the household is called. Um, I already gave a makeover to Akira and Miko a couple months ago. I don't remember now when exactly, but it's been a couple months, definitely. Um, you can find it on my channel. They are both in the Tony makeover playlist, so definitely go check them out. And um, yeah, finally we are done with this household and I'm absolutely obsessed with how all three of them turned out. And I really like what Darlin turned out. Um, I feel like I have a tendency of saying the name Darlin a certain way and we all know, well, do we all know what, who to blame for? Anyway, I'm just in there again. Oh my God, can, can, you, can you tell what I'm going to play right after I finish this? catastrophical voiceover. We all know what I'm going to play after I finish this, right? This has taken over my life and I'm sorry, but I'm also kind of not, <laughs> but back to the Sims. So what can I say about my makeover of Darlin? They kind of, first off, we can probably all agree that they are non-binary, right? I feel like that is a widely accepted way of looking at them. Even though I don't think they are like officially non-binary because, you know, they are from City Living and when City Living came out, we didn't have the, the gender update, the pronouns update. But I feel like they, and I feel like most of the community feels this way, uh, I feel like Darlene was meant to be non-binary. So that's how I... I don't know, had cut on them. Uh, and uh, yeah, I feel like most of the people in the community do. So I don't know why I'm talking about this so much. But yeah, I use they them pronouns for darling. Although I kind of feel like, and this also goes to the whole fact that they don't have any pronouns set. I feel like maybe they are the kind of non-binary person who is okay with any pronouns. Kind of like that. I don't know. Um, and yeah, I had a lot of fun giving them a makeover. At first I wasn't sure because once again I had this feeling that their style is very like basic and comfy and they're very like practicality over aesthetic kind of person and um when i'm creating sims when i'm dressing sims up i'm more of a like aesthetic over practicality kind of person in the sims i'm like that in real life i i definitely prefer wearing practical clothes that that fits comfy and stuff like that um but in the end i had a lot of fun giving them some nice, cute, kind of practical, comfy clothes. One that kind of stands out to me, I feel like, is their formal outfit. And I have a little story behind that, I guess you could say. Well, uh, Darling lives with Miko and Akira, right? And I've always imagined, this is kind of sad, but I've always kind of imagined that Darling's parents weren't the best people in the world and they kicked Darlene out and Akira and uh, Meiko took, her in, uh, took them in, sorry. Well, I mean, I said I think they're okay with whatever pronouns and now I'm panicking. 
that I mistended them. Anyway, so Akira and Miko took them in and uh, they are kind of taking care of them as if um, Darlene was their younger siblings. That's kind of like the relationship I feel like they would have. And for their formal wear, I feel like Miko had a say in that and uh, she helped uh, Darlene dress like that. Maybe they helped, uh, maybe she helped Darlene get dressed for the prom or something like that. And yeah, that's why it looks a bit different. That's why it feels, or at least I feel like there is some Miko influence there. Um, I think she was trying to help. I'm not sure if Miko feels particularly comfortable in this or like themselves, but I mean, if it's for a prom or something like that, it's just one night and it's it's a special night. So, I mean, when I look back at my prom, like the clothes that you wear to your prom are like nothing like your regular clothes, right? Um, I don't know what I'm yapping about. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm sitting in the dark in my bedroom it is currently very hot. It is the afternoon. It's way too hot for April. I'm tired. I'm drinking coffee. It's not helping. It's it's probably making me feel worse. I'm sweating a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing very well. And <laughs> let's be honest, I cannot wait to, to finish this voiceover so I can go um, play something else. Uh, that's not to say that I had to force myself to record this. I was actually really looking forward to recording another voiceover for you. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun, but now that we are getting closer to the end, I'm like, oh, it's almost time. I almost can open the game again. I'm so excited. And uh, yeah, like I said, this has taken over my life, which you probably know if you follow me on Twitter, which uh, I mean, do that at your own risk, okay? Follow me on Twitter at your own risk, because um, I... I get a little unhinged there. Although I feel like it's like that one meme, you know, with the woman in the, I think at the supermarket or something. And it's like, well, I'm gonna put it on the screen cause I cannot remember what it says now. But uh, yeah, sometimes I feel like that meme, like I'm not even being funny or crazy or unhinged or anything, but I feel that way. And uh, yeah, I, I guess maybe I'm just annoying and awkward, but it is what it is. And this is how I show that I'm very excited about that game. Speaking of which, or actually, no, we are almost at the end, so we are not going to speak of that. So I'm going to say my goodbyes. I'm going to close this and export this and put this on YouTube. And I'm going to go treat myself with another session of Baldur's Gate. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And oh, my voice. Do you hear that? It wants me to shut up. My own voice wants me to shut up. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for putting up with me. And I'm gonna speak to you some other time. Maybe I will record something that isn't a towny makeover, but I'm not sure. I don't know, but I hope that you will be there for that as well. That's not my outro. Again, I'm gonna go. Love you guys. Bye everyone.